Hello, uh, my name is Artur Malinowski. I'm working for Malken, and today I would like to show you how to use MWS parameters and also how they are useful. And at the same time, I will show you how to send mails, which is basic functionality uh, essential for any collaboration. Um, okay, so what I have now, I have some list which is called param. Let's go to to Markenware for Sherpa. As you know, they are not only the param, but they are actions and also parameters. It's about those parameters. Who you focus on those parameters? Okay, what I have? What kind of parameters I have? This is just simple list of parameters. Each of them has unique name. Here I have ns, and each of them needs to have some parameter type. If you Define it as a number. You need to fill the number. If you define it as a, it could be only one of the one of the, uh, the types. So, for example, if it is some parameter called workflow owner, and you assign person group, you need to fill only the person's groups. How to access them? It's very easy. Let's go to my actions and see that whenever the uh, record is uh, changed, updated. We want to just use parameter n. Uh, we have a global function param which takes the parameter with the with that unique name. So here the parameter n is equal to five, so it will just assign five to title. Let's check it. So whenever it is changed, we have five here. If I want to extract, for example, date, so to the d. Let me just check it to D. And whenever it is changed, it extracts the D. If you want to extract, for example, workflow owner, by the way, please read that, uh, read that hint here. Uh, uh, the workflow owner is uh, sent mail whenever the runtime error occurs. It's very useful. But for now, let's, we will just read the param here. Okay. Okay. Now we have an error because we cannot assign assign the user to the title. We need some string. So, but if we just take name or maybe email, email, it is fine because email is string, so it can be assigned to title. So whenever it is changed, it just gives me the. Uh, the administrator email and takes email and assign it to the title. Okay. What about if I have here no uh, one user but just for a few users? Just to give you the how this looks in SharePoint, if you change to standard view, we have uh, some vacation users. If I click here, I will jump to the definition of the group, SharePoint group which consists currently of two users. So we have a parameter that points not to the person but to the group because we here we have, can have persons or groups. So let it, let's try uh, and also assign an, uh, not one email but emails all since user object could be multi-value. Okay, so whenever it is here it is changed we just took comma separated string uh, of multi users because those two users were assigned as a parameter so it, it always evaluates the group to, to takes all the users from the group and then uh, emails all attribute returns comma separated string which is useful to sending mails so let's go back for example and send mail maybe to one user currently just for easier and just for easier uh, example so I just one user and let's try to send email if I go to the API there is a function called send mail which takes some Attributes you may you may read them in the API. Uh, so let me just 
use that function. So I will send mail. First argument is to to whom I am sending. Then is cc, so I'm putting nobody. BCC also nobody. Then I want some subject. Then I want body, and the body will be my uh, whatever is in the row in the title column. Body then is the priority. Uh, I'm saying zero, and the last argument is is this HTML or not? So let's put it uh, that it is. This is not uh, not HTML. So whenever it is changed, it should send send mail to the person who is in the parameter. That is the setter one, which is me currently. Okay. So whenever it is changed, so let's change anything. Just now I got the email administrator, some subject, and whatever was put in the and whatever was put here. So if I, for example, change it to HTML mail, so I'm changing the definition and this is mail with let's make it bold HTML bold text okay changed I should get a trans mail here we are Exactly, this is HTML text. So you may easily uh, build your actions and words and maze based on some static parameters. Well, most of the time they could be static. Uh, and you may define many of them. Just be careful so they are mm, defined as unique and proper parameter types as assigned. So, this is how it is how it was easy to to prepare some parameters and uh, how easy you may use them you need to use only the global function param thank you for your time